What's going on, E Nation Army? This is Ian Perez, twelve twenty-seven here, and welcome back to yet another diecast review. This diecast review is going to be on Eric Amarola's twenty eleven degree Chevy Impala from Junior Motorsports. Another twenty eleven diecast that I never thought I would get. Like this was six forty nine free shipping, and I thought that was a very good deal, especially since this was thirteen years ago. Holy crap! I feel old. So yeah. Six forty nine free shipping for a twenty eleven card. Damn right, I'm gonna take it. Cheap price, hell yeah. So yeah, let's go to the box. We got Junior Motorsports. We got the number five, seven, and eighty eight. Um, the lineup for twenty eleven. I'm pretty sure all of them were part time cars, like full time cars, were, but were like part time drivers. I think Eric was the only one that was full time in twenty eleven for Junior Motorsports. Yes, yes. Okay, I made up my mind. He did. Uh, so you got ages phone up. Eric Armola, number 88 degree, 2011 Impla, limited edition code, 164 scale stock car, limited edition collectibles. Ages phone up, Axe Racing Collectibles Gold Series, Axe Racing Collectibles, still the Trojan Champions. Barcode NASCAR, Axe Racing Collectibles, NASCAR Hologram, where the has a small part of the children in three years. Lino, NASCAR Collectibles, RCCA, GM Official, www.rccamembers.com. Handcrafts in China, officially licensed product, and all the license and credits and all that fun stuff. Whew. All right. So with that being said, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, got this in the mail last night after work. Or, um, yesterday after work. So, yeah. Beautiful car, I'll say. But we'll talk about the, um, the diecast and livery after, re after we're done reviewing this car. All right, guys. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right, guys. So here we are. This is Eric Camarola's 2011 Men Degree Chevy Ampla. Let's review this bad boy, shall we? So here we got the number 88. You got Men Degree GT. Does that say vodka? Yeah, it looks like it says vodka right here. Suave. Ragu, Hellman's, Safety Clean. Um, yeah, Eric Amarillo's uh, signature. And I'm trying to read all these signs, and unfortunately, I can't read them all. I can see the Bosch logos, but that's all. There's a red ship. Oh, is it on the car? Okay, got it off. Unfortunately, there's a chip here. Yeah, it looks like it's a chip, unfortunately. So here you got the 2011 NASCAR Nationwide Series Continuity Sponsors. On the name banner, you got the Nationwide logo. Men Degree with the blue check. Chevy Bowtie, Impla, 88. Got Junior Motorsports on the headlights. Same side as the left on the back bumper. You got, oh God, oh God, it's, it's not focusing, hang on. You got Men Degree, Chevy Bowtie, 88 Mac Tools. Not sure what that says under the Mac Tools logo. 88 once again. And on the deck lid, you got Men Degree. I gotta say, this is honestly not only a great livery design, but a great livery design with the colors. I really like the mix of the glossy blue. The glossy... No, actually, I don't know the gray is glossy. Well... I like the, the gray lines, got the white lines between, got the black lines here between the, the white um, area and uh, gray. The delivery overall, it's a, it's an amazing design if you ask me. Pretty gorgeous livery, obviously forgotten, unfortunately. It's been 13 years, so yeah. And the, the early 2010s cards are rare, unfortunately. Not only rare, but like stupid expensive for no freaking reason, which is stupid in my opinion. So yeah, you got the black uh, bunny ear spoiler, white splitter with uh, some of the gray and black colors. Oh, that's scratched up as well. And the front is like dusty, I think. Something like that. I don't think you'll see. Yeah, I think you'll see it on camera, but it looks dusty and all that. Like a little race version. Um, but yeah, beautiful car, beautiful livery. And I know they also made Amarola's Tax Slayer car and I think Helmut's car. Um, so, yeah. I got I bought this car on Thursday. 
before the the news of Amarilla and uh, the Eric Amarilla Bubba Wallace thing, and Amarilla being suspended until Indies. So bad timing to buy an Eric Amarilla diecast. Oh, that's awkward. That's all I can say. It's an awkward, awkward, um, um, awkward timing. Um, I respect the hell out of boat drivers, Eric and Bubba. Uh, but all I can say is, Jesus Christ, they need to fucking get over what I've been 2017 was when Wallace was going to the 43 next year and all that. That's seven years ago. They still have B for seven years. Like, holy crap. Can you fucking children stop acting like children? I like grown adults. Like, if they don't like each other, fine. Get away from each other. Like, even during, like, Toyota team meetings and all that. Don't go near each other. Don't talk shit about each other. But, unfortunately, that happened. And Eric Armour will pay the price for it. And Wallace... I don't know. It's something that we'll never know. Did they really fight? Did they really say something i know they were at it at the 2023 Coca cola 600 during the red flag uh when eric and bubba were going out on track and then eric shelled bubba um i don't know we'll never know what happened with that news i suppose it's whatever bubba's like keep it tight lipped about it and it's for the best i don't know that's just me um so yeah they're both acting like children they need to get over it but that's just me but that's for this card Beautiful car. Uh, the only way you can get these kind of cars nowadays, probably um, diecast stores, flea market if you're lucky, eBay, but with a cheap price if you're lucky. So, yeah, that's about it for this diecast review. I just want to say thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I do have another new diecast coming up somewhere on next week, I believe. And I still got to review my five 1995 car diecast, Elliott Sailor diecast. I've been delaying that for a while. Don't worry, I've not abandoned this channel. I just haven't used that as much. And also, life at work and making videos on my motorsports channel. So, yeah. I'll get there when I get there. Okay? But I know y'all are patient and all that. That's okay. I'll, I'll get there when I get there. That's all I can say. Thank y'all so much for watching. This is Ian Press 1227 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.